Today's quick tip video is about visibility in Cubase. So if you've got a larger project, of which this isn't one, this is only 20 tracks, but it's useful to be able to just show you what happens with it, it can get a bit bewildering because you can have too many tracks on screen, particularly in the mixer. And sometimes you might have 100, 200, 500 tracks and trying to navigate your way through that, even if you've been very organized with folders and group tracks, etc., can still be a nightmare. And occasionally you'll get a sound where you don't know where it's coming from and you need to find it. This is a quick way to do that rather than scrolling sideways for hours on end. So let's say we're in the middle of this track. So I'm just going to put my play position there. If we go to the mixer, if we want to see what tracks are active at that point, we can just click the channel visibility agents, which looks like a house. Click that. And this menu here is, is solid gold for this. This one in particular, show channels for tracks with data at the cursor position. I click that and we only see the tracks which have data there, which is crunch loop, low heartbeat and synth loop. That's it. And if we go back to the project, we can see that really is the case. Crunch loop is muted, but it's got data there, even if it is muted data. But you can see we've really thinned things out. If we were later on in the project, we do the same thing. Click that, pick that again, and there you go. There we've got all of the tracks that are active. So this can really thin things out for you, make life a lot easier. When you're done with that, you just click that and pick show all channels. And that takes you back to where you were. There are a couple of other options here. So obviously channels for tracks with data. If you've got a lot of blank channels, that can be useful. Or data between the locators. Really, really handy for just thinning out the information you need to look at in a session and making life livable. You've got the same here, but with a couple of extras. So hiding muted tracks, hiding disabled tracks. So this is pretty much the same thing. So again, show tracks with data at the cursor position. So here you can see that hides these tracks, which is you know, a relatively new thing in Cubase. Uh, show tracks with data there. So then we're just going to be down to just a few. So you can mimic that kind of thing following that. Let's go back to show all tracks. So that visibility is today's quick tip. Hope you find it useful. <laughs>